Good night. Good night, daughter. You're strong. Invincible. You're a woman. <laughs> Hey, Marcy. Monique, now you need to call me to, in tomorrow because the Lord told me you need to speak with me or I need to speak with you, okay? After I get off uh, the service this evening, I was saying, okay, God, what is it? And so he said, she needs to speak with you. So we need to talk, okay, ma'am? Good. <sighs> you're so like, you're so like one of my kids. Oh, some of the people from church. Okay, Apostle. Oh, my God. Am I in trouble? <laughs> God bless you. Good night, Miss Linda. How are you? Francine Graham. God bless you. For he's a rock of salvation. Who shall I fear? Terrell, it is anniversary. I don't need to say anything else. Do I? I don't think so. You have a blessed night too. <laughs> Marcellus, Marcellus, what, what, am I right? Good night, son. Good night, daughter. I was, I didn't see you on this evening. I guess it wasn't from work yet. Right, Marceless, you wasn't from home from work yet. I see you, Janelle, good night. Oh my God, I think this evening service was amazing. You, know, you guys need to go back and recap. You'll be present, okay. One night, make sure you come in your suit. All 
right Terrell all right oh good night you know me tired yeah wake up from six this morning but I am well you're laughing you were Okay. I'm glad I'm teaching you. All right. To, uh, Marcellus, I'm teaching you. So, thank God. Why well, don't want you to miss the the teachings? Cuz I want you to be a wonderful, great, awesome prophet. Yeah. Don't play with me. Ooh la la la. Really? Oh Jesus. That's not what I want. All right, so I've got to go back. All right, Miss Christina. God bless you. You're listening, Marcellus. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's going to be, you're going to be a powerful man of God. All right. May God bless you all tonight as we go on. Sophia Hines.
hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Great is he who the King of kings and lords of lords, the Almighty. Great is he who is king of kings and lord of lords, the Almighty. He reigns, the Almighty. Great is he who is king of kings and lord of lords. He is wonderful. My God, are you aware that God is such a wonderful God? An awesome God. My God, the king of kings, the lord of lords. My God, how amazing is he tonight. So wonderful. Oh, he's indescribable. He is absolutely indescribable. He is amazing. Tonight, I was looking for one of my Jamaican medley, but I can't find it. I was kind of very busy after I hung up. Um, I came off the line tonight because I still had work to do. So I had to finish up the work and then, um, you know, I realized time was going by, so I had to. Um, get on but tonight I thank God because God is such a wonderful my love him in a man look here my love God 
more than how my love food is it. I love it more than how I love life. I love it more than how I love. I love him more than anything else in this whole wide world. I love him. I just love him. I I have I can't go to sleep if I don't if I don't if I if I know that like I don't see him, I don't hear him, I'm like, okay, I can't sleep. I gotta I gotta find where he's at. Cause I'm always at his feet and tonight I want to thank God I want you to be aware tonight there must be a consciousness within you on a daily basis we must be conscious and we ought to know that we have to know what time it is you know what I mean we have to know we have to be conscious of what time it is there's so many people that are not conscious it's like they just go about life and just doing whatever comes to mind they just go to work come home tired go to sleep get up eat go back to work they're not conscious they don't take the time out to sit and you know i realize that Satan's Lucifer, the system, the world, this, the systems of this world is so, it, it, it comes to really like, it takes, it takes your consciousness. It makes you busy. So all you think about is, I gotta go to work, gotta go to the grocery, gotta wash my car, gotta go home i gotta take care of the kids i gotta go shop food shopping i gotta go shopping i need this i need that and so you're busy 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 there is no true consciousness no true awareness you know and that's why people can sin and go on and don't even realize that they're sitting unless the Holy Spirit brings an awareness to you, you know, and says, shouldn't have done that. And say, oh my God, that was, you know what? That's true. That was wrong. And so it's important that we become aware. You must be aware of your surrounding. You gotta be aware of what you're saying. You gotta be aware of what you're doing. You gotta have a consciousness. You cannot just go on. You know, my son said to me a couple of months ago, he said, Ma, you know, one, you know, I was watching a movie and he didn't ever realize that he was so caught up in the movie that it's like he like he, he stopped in time. He's so caught up that he didn't realize where he was. So caught up that he said, Mom, I think my breath stopped because I was so caught up in the movie. I wasn't aware of where I am. And, you know, I said that is how he, he, humans are. They get caught up in the movie. They get caught up on the job. They got caught up. They get caught up in the um, in doing whatever they, they the routine of life. They get caught up. They get caught up on everything that is happening, and they're not they're not having a recollection that you know what I can't get caught up because this this life is temporary i have to be aware of what's going on i have to be aware my spirit has got to um uh, uh be alive i got to be aware that no that's wrong i can't do that i have to be aware because things creep upon you take you over and you didn't even realize because the enemy sees that you're so caught 
caught up. You know, the devil like busy people. Yeah. Because busy people have no time to think. They have no time to recall. Rec recall. The, you know, when you go home in the evenings, those of you who work, take at least 20 minutes. Sit down. All by yourself and just recall get get inside you know Lord thank you you know get inside breathe thank you Lord take a breather Take a breather. Just breathe. And say, Lord, thank you. You know, I got up early, go to work. You're consciously doing your job. But if you're like me, I'll be, con I'll be here doing this. But my mind is in heaven. My mind is on the things of God. And so you got to be conscious all the time. You hear me? You must be conscious all the time because the rapture can, the trumpet can blow and you don't hear it because your spirit is, you, 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 you're weighing down your spirit with the cares of this life. And you are not aware that heaven is talking to you. You must be aware at all times that the voice you can you can you can hear the voice of God and respond and said yes Lord. While like while I was here this evening and I saw Monique in the kitchen, and she was standing right there. And I said, okay, but I thought I saw her online first. And I'm like. Then I'm scrolling down to see if I saw her and she wasn't on yet. I'm like, but, you know, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. And so tonight I need you to become conscious. Don't lose your life. Don't lose your consciousness in the things of this world. Don't lose your, your thoughts, your intellect, your consciousness. Don't lose your subconsciousness and the things because you can truly lose it. And that's why God wants us to be aware. Amen. You can lose it. So you don't want to be, you don't want to lose it. Do you hear me? Tonight, you don't want to lose it. You need to be conscious. You need to be conscious of temptation. You got to be conscious or be aware of temptation. You got to be aware that you're doubting. You got to be aware that, wait a minute, I am, I'm tense. You got to be aware and breathe because life can make you feel like this. And that's why it, and it tightens you up. And by the time you realize this is how you are. And you have no recollection, no awareness because you're tight. That's why we have to rest and breathe and recall, bring to your consciousness where I am. What am I doing? Am I in right standing with God? Are you with me tonight? So tonight, be joyful in the Lord and be aware. Do not let anything take away your awareness because God is in control. Are you with me? The devil wants you to get caught up in and not be aware that you're in sin. And it's by the time you realize it, my God, you get... You were so far gone into it. You said, how did I get here? How did I get all the way? How did I get caught up in this? 
and we get caught up in all kind of life's challenges, life situation, and forgetting that, oh, God, thank you, Lord. You can get me out of this. But by the time you can't even pray because the enemy draw you so far gone in that you're not, you get so far gone in into depression, so far gone into your into the hurt, so far gone into the pain, what he did, what she did. You have to snap yourself out of it and says, no, 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 no. I can't allow my spirit to get in that. No, 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 no. I must be aware. I'm, I am aware. No, I, this is wrong. I cannot let that, this take me over. No, 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 no. I have control of, over this. No, I have control. Because the hurt can draw you in and, and, and cause your spirit to be trapped in there. And God wants you to be aware that this thing, this thing that you're thinking about, it can carry you all the way gone, left field. And you're saying, wow. What? what? And you, but you, you get caught up in it. And you're so deep in it that you wonder, how did you get there? Tonight, God wants you to come out of that. Amen. Don't get caught up in the things that comes to you strong. Don't hold anything too tight. No. The only thing you hold tight is your salvation. I hold on to God's word tight. I hold anything pertaining to life and godliness. That's what I hold on to. Amen. So, and that's how people get so far gone. You don't even know. Somebody say, oh, you know, when you... Let us go down and let go over there. By the time you go, you get caught up. And you said, oh my God, I miss, I miss the program. You get caught up. Don't get, be conscious that you don't miss the things of God. Don't get caught up. Cause it makes us, the enemy come to make us forget. Forget. He makes us forget. But Jesus said the only thing we must forget is the things that are behind us. Forget about what's behind us and press towards the mark for the prize of the highest calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. And so, um, forget. Forget the hurt. Forget that. Forget what people do. Don't get caught up in. Lord God, I'm, I'm telling you, you can get caught up in what somebody say or do to you. You can. Because your mind is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a powerful tool. And if your mind get caught up in it, your whole body, everything gone in. So I've got to keep my mind free. And, and, and this is why folks feel like, oh, you know, um, all that I've done, I don't think God can forgive me. Yes, he can. You just need to bring back your consciousness and say, well, okay, I'm aware that I've done this, that, that. Lord, here they are. Here is this, here is that, here is that. And you just bring everything, regurgitate everything and spit it out. And watch God. Because when we get caught up in what he did, what they did, what they didn't do, what they should have done, what... Oh my God, you get so wrapped up in the things that you get wrapped up in depression, wrapped up in, in oppression, wrapped up in, in the pain, the hurt, wrapped up in unforgiveness. No, everything. And you know what? They, who did that? Satan. Spirits that comes to lure you away, take you away off the path. And cause you to lose consciousness. Lose consciousness of who you are in God. If you are not strong, you lose consciousness of God. And you cannot afford that. That's why every waking moment, whoops, yes, Lord. 
I love you, Lord. That's why you have to sing psalms and hymns. I told you that last night. And I lift my voice to worship you, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Take joy, my king. Mm. Always give him a shout out. Hey, daddy. I'm right here. You're, you're, I'm studying, but my, my, my mind is on God. My thoughts, David said, my thoughts are ever towards you. Your thoughts must be ever towards. You know, I'll be on vacation. I ne my thoughts never come off my dad day. My thoughts never came off who I am in Christ. Never. Never at any given moment. I clothe my mind. I put on that helmet of salvation. I put it on. Ching, ching, lock down. Yeah. I can't forget. Because by the time you go somebody talking to you, and, uh, and especially if, oh my God, if you want somebody to be married and you want somebody to get married and you want to, you get caught up in the conversation, don't get caught up. Say, Oops. Nope. Can't do that. Sorry. Got to come out of this. Are you hearing me? There's so many things you can get caught up in gossip. You can get caught up in the wrong crowd. You can get caught up believing other things that God don't want you to believe. You can get caught up in doing so much because the mind is the battlefield. And so when you when your mind when your when your mind is so trapped in in what and lock into what you you hear and what it just keep thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and it keep going and going and going and going and going and going. Somebody said, "Hey," and you're like, "Oh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah." I was just thinking about. You understand? Don't get your mind, COVID, the the this debt, that's on spree. I call it the debt spree. The debt that is on, think he's on a spree. Yeah, I think that he can, yeah, so he come back. He's coming back with a vengeance. Let me tell you, it's on the horizon. Don't get caught up in it. Keep your mind focused. Lord, I am, I am in you. Lord, I thank you that my, I, I'm, I'm, I'm well, I'm well. It cannot come near me. Lord, it cannot. No, no, no. That cannot come near me nor my family. You keep focused. You don't, you don't get trapped or caught up in everything that you hear on the news and everything that's going on around you. You have to stay on the alert. Are you with me? Everybody, everything, the world is coming to an end. It won't ever go back. You keep hearing the saying, is it going to get back to its normal state? Hear what I'm saying to you? No, it won't. It won't. It's too far gone. The world, it's, it's going into a depression. And you who are children of God must be aware of what's going on. And do not... Um, lose consciousness that the, the rapture is at hand. Do not lose consciousness that God uh, 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 will not cause, put, he says, I will not put any of these disease upon those who serve me faithfully. He said, I won't do it. That's what he said in his word. So tonight, in the, as, you, as you become aware, you got to become aware that sin leads to death. And if you are playing games with God, you got to stop because you've got to be conscious that the wages of sin is death and the gift of God, which you must receive, is eternal life. Are you with me tonight? So I want you to know that you must Stay conscious. Be on the alert. You must be on the alert and be aware. Understand awareness is key. You got to be, awareness is, is having a consciousness about everything. You understand? Be conscious tonight. What do you need to know? Is to know that, listen, I must be conscious of every day 
everything that's happening so that my spirit doesn't get caught up in what's going on, on the, in the world. Because I'm, we are in the world, right? But we are not of it. Correct? We're in the world, but we're not of it. You lose consciousness. All oh, the kids are not going to school. And oh, babysitter. And oh, um, what if they get sick? And oh, what if I go to school? And oh, I don't know. No, no, no. That's too much. I'm losing consciousness of the fact that all things will work together for my good because I love God. You, do, you must do not lose the consciousness that you're a child of God. Don't and get caught up in the world. And that's the problem with Christendom. We get caught up and we stop. Oh, we stop. We, it, we stop. We stop. And we're not breathing. You know why we're not breathing? Oh, my God. You're not breathing. And then you get sick. Because you stop breathing the breath of God. Why? Because you have taken on. And that's how uh, uh, um, anxiety comes. When you stop, oh my God, what's going to happen? Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, what if this happened? Oh, what if that? Oh, and, and oh my God, Jesus, you get sick. You get sick. You get sick, family. So you have to stay conscious that, listen, this world is not yours. We are here. But for, listen, life in general is what? Is from generation to generation. Your mama was here. Some of us, my, okay, I can talk about me. My mama was here. My daddy was here. Now, grandma, their mother was here and their father was here. Their uncle, that generation passed. It's from one generation to the next. This generation must go home. Unfortunately, this generation are seeing the end of days. Are you with me? So somebody may say, oh, but I'm only trying, I'm only being young. Yeah, young people go to hell too. Well, I'm only trying to, you know, live. No, living, I have been, I'm talking about, I just, I'm just living, I, I, I'm young. Okay, the young people understand that God says young people are called upon you because you're strong. I need you. You're not too young. There was uh, so many young boys, young girls in, 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 in the days past. They're young, but they serve God in spirit and in truth. These young people nowadays, they don't think that they need to serve God. They think that they need to just um, do anything what they want because they're young. Yeah, that's why they're all dying. And so that's why we can't hold back when our, and tell, in telling our children, Jesus Christ is Lord, you need. We are bringing, he said, train up a child in the way they should grow, that when they get older, they will not depart from the truth. Your home must be a Christian home. And I'm not talking about Catholic. I'm talking about born again, tongue talking, um, foot stamping, hand clapping, Holy Ghost rolling church. David was young. Yes. He was 17 years old. Thank you, sir. Are you hearing me? They were, Jesus was 12. When he was from me, he was born. The boy was in the, in the synagogue preaching. He said, Mom, where are you, where you, where you looking for me? i got to be about my father's business. So many young boys. Joash was young. Young kids. The Hebrew boys were young. Young people. They were all young people. They served God in spirit and in truth. So you're talking about when I'm young, I, I, I don't, and, and they have no regard for their lives. Parents have to be, be on the altar, rolling and bawling and hollering, God, cover them, God, keep them, God, save them, God, Lord, God, God. They don't, they're on their horse trying to talk to God because they're not listening. I don't even know where I'm going. I just, that's the Holy, that's the Holy Ghost. But God wants us to be aware. Stop, you're, you're in a state of unconsciousness. You're not aware of what's going on. You get, you, you get caught up in the news. You get caught up on the job. You get caught up in, in oh, I got to school. I got to work. I got to, I got to do this. I got to, that, 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 that,
lose your awareness. And if the, if the, the, the trumpet should blow, your awareness was too far gone in the things of the world. What you have to do and what you didn't have to do and what you got to do and what you didn't have to do and what you got to do. Oh, my. Whew. We need to stop that. You may say, but Apostle, I got, I, I could get caught up, but I choose not to. That's what I'm trying to say to you. I write books. I got to write my books. I got to, I got to, I, 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 I wake up six o'clock in the morning. I go to bed four o'clock every day, every night, every morning. Glory to God. I have to pray. I have to talk to God. I have to write Wednesday sermon, Bible study. I have to pray for the people that I cover. I have to talk to the, to God about the people that, um, you, the people that, 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 God has given to me and I have to, there's so much. I have my son in college. I have the house. I have the, the, the two houses that I have to take care of, but God, I don't get caught up. I keep my focus on God. My focus is on the Lord. Do you understand? So you don't lose focus right now. I'm writing two books. I don't get caught up. I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do that. But I don't get caught up. One day at a time. That's why one day. I have the church. Oh my God, the church is a ship. The church is a ship. It's not a sh The church is not a, is not a boat. It's a ship. It has so many different... It has women's ministry, men's ministry. The Praise and worship the choir. It has the it, it, it has finance, admin, it has oh my god, Sunday school, children's church, dance ministry. That's ten already. That's ten already. South Carolina, I have to be thinking about them, praying for them. Lord God. Jamaica. I, I'm on with them on Monday nights so that I can keep up, you know, they can hear my voice and understand and, you know, the teachings and being with the leaders and, you know. But I keep in all of that, my mind is where? On God. How do you do that? I, my thoughts are ever towards God. That's what I'm wanting to know. Your thoughts must ever, not on what you're going to eat, not on what you wear, not on what you're going to drink, not on what you're going to cook for later, not on what tomorrow going to bring, not on, uh, no, tomorrow morning when I get up, I deal with, okay, we're going to Home Depot. All right, let's go to Home Depot and let's do that. Okay, but right now I'm focused. My focus is ever towards the things of God. My focus is ever towards God. <laughs> if I have to tell you, sometimes my son, I have to be on the phone with him um, in college, uh, uh, um, especially if he's at, if he's at home. <laughs> oh my God! And he miss me, and I'm like, okay, you know, I gotta I gotta use wisdom, right? All right, so what's up? Hi, what you doing? Da, 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 da. Oh, and he's a slow talker. So you know him, I study for doctor. Me don't know me, I tell him to talk so slow. But mom, okay. And um, yeah, you know. And you can't run him off the phone. You have to take your time and you still have to listen and say, okay. And yeah, mom, and you know, um, oh, I forgot the car, took the car. And, yeah, and... Oh, and you did, yeah. And so, how is school? Um, yeah, and how, and yes, mom, and um, oh, yes, mom. You can't run him off the phone, you have to listen because I, I, I leave him at 14 trying to stabilize the ship, and so I have to listen. One night, I had to be on the phone with him for what's about three, four hours. While I'm still working, but me can't make him, me can't make it look like me 
I'm not focusing. So I have to focus on him, focus on God, focus on what I'm doing. But my spirit is tied to God. So I don't lose, lose that. So I'm here and I'm like, okay. But my spirit, my mind is on him. Do you, you understand? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get you to somewhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sharon, you were the other night. I was praying for you and we blow away. We were blowing. Is that you? I hope is that. I hope is you're. Because is, is, uh, is there a testimony tonight that somebody wants to give? I'm ready for the testimony. So what am I saying? Do not get caught up on the job. Your body's there and you're doing what you got to do. But your mind, your consciousness is on God. Are you with me? So tonight, be conscious. Don't get caught up in what the news is saying. Don't get caught up in what the COVID-19. No, you stay focused. You stay. You stay so focused that you don't need to lose heart. Oh, it's going to, I may get COVID. Oh, am I going to die? Oh, am I going to, just stop it. Please, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't let the devil seize any fear. Oh, you know, Apostle, oh, I don't feel like I, I can't breathe. You know why you can't breathe? Because you get caught up. Relax. Thank you, Jesus. Your life is hidden in Christ. Nothing what the news is saying. Not in the spirit that's moving about seeking whom he can devour. You got to stay focused. Or lest he devour you. Because it comes for the break, the system that breaks down. You can afford to break down this system so that, so that it can come for you. No, don't no, no, stay focused. Yes, Lord, I'm good. They said, oh, they took the COVID test. And, and, and I said, the doctor said, so what did they say? I said, inconclusive. I said, when I had COVID, nobody had COVID. I said, she said, you, you're right because... It simply means you have the antibodies in you. I said, yeah, I knew that. And, and if I was around everybody and they didn't get it. I cough for over, my gosh, cough for over four months. They didn't, if, they, didn't, it, it, they didn't know what it was. My doctor gave me everything. They didn't know what it was. And so tonight, do not lose consciousness of who you are in God. Let everything roll off you. Let it roll. Let it go. Let, let it keep going by. Don't get trapped in it. Do you hear me? Don't get trapped in it. Stay focused. What, I, what am I saying to you tonight? Be conscious. Be aware that temptation will come, but you will, so you don't yield to temptation. Be aware that doubt come, so you will not doubt. You said, no, I got faith. I'm not going to do that. When you're conscious, you live a better, a, 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 a overflowing, born again, spirit-filled life when you're conscious. I see my sister on the line, Vinette, B Bishop Vinette, God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's the sister that raised me, y'all. Bishop Vinette. All right. So, heal her up. Bless you. All right. So, be on the alert. Are you hearing me? Be on the alert. Mark chapter 8. Mark chapter 8. God will provide for you if you only stay aware. Be on the aware. God is your provider. Be aware. No matter where you see them are going and everybody are broke down and everything are going. Don't even pay that. No mind. You just keep keep on the the thoughts. Lord, I you are with me and you will provide for me. Even if you're gonna he said he take it's Elijah, go to the brook, Corinth, and stay there. I'm gonna send Raven to feed you. God is your provider. Don't worry about what's going on. Amen. Don't worry about it. God is your provider. Mark chapter 8. Let's read. Mark chapter 8. I believe 17 through 21. 17 through 21. Here is what it says. But Jesus. Watch this word. Watch this word. Underline the word. But Jesus being aware. That's what we're talking about tonight. 
being aware. Jesus never lost awareness. He knew where he was. He knew who wanted need deliverance. He knew what was, was happening. He had the whole world in his hand, yet he was aware of what they were thinking. Do you hear me tonight? And so tonight he said, but, but Jesus being aware of it said to them, let's read from verse, six. let's read 13, let's read 13. And he left them and getting into the boat again, mm -hmm, into the boat again, departed to the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread. All right, now, watch it now. They forget to take the food. They forget, and if you're talking about, you can talk about provision, and you can talk about bread, which is the word. Mm -hmm. So it uses in different contexts, okay? Now, they did not, they had, they now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, and they did not have more than one loaf with them. All right, in the boat. Then he charged them saying, take heed, okay? Be aware of the loaves of the Pharisees, the leaven of the Pharisees. Be aware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Watch it. Now he is, 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 is causing, he's telling them, be aware, of who is you is around your surroundings you are in be aware of who is around you you see that and the leaven of uh, of of herod that mean there are some food there are some people that are can say some things there are some uh, um they what they're gonna give will contaminate you do you understand so the Bible then says, and they reason among themselves. Listen to what they says, saying, it is because we have no bread. Oh, uh, really? You see how people like to talk on Jesus when, when, when leaders talk? They like to, to have their own opinion. And he's saying, why should you have your own opinion? This is what I'm trying to cause you. I'm causing you to have an awareness. Know who is laboring among you. Know what's going on among you. Don't eat certain things. Don't deal with certain things. Don't get caught up with certain things. And he said, but Jesus being aware, watch this now. Again, he was aware what they're uh, in the first place. And now he's saying to them, he says, he says, I am aware what's, of what's going on because I live from the inside out, not from the outside in. Okay. But, G, but Jesus being aware of it said to them, why do you reason because you have no bread? Do you not perceive nor understand is your heart still hardened? Why would he say that? Do you see the three questions? Do you, you see the three questions there? Do you not perceive nor understand? Is your heart still hardened? Having eyes, do you not see? <laughs> and having ears, do you not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000? How many baskets full of fragments did you take up? You forget? You forget I am the providing one, not you? You talking about, have you lost the perception of who I am? Have you lost the perception? I, I am the provider, as I said it in Philippians. Have you lost it? Do you not understand what I'm saying? Why are you talking in your, in your heart? Why are you, are your, is your heart hardened? Are you strong-headed? That's what he's trying to say. Because as God provides for some people, you know, 
This is what it is. As God provide for some people, tell, tell, let me tell you. Oh God, help me, Lord. As God provide for some people, you know what happened? Them forget. Them as them as one problem off. They forget that He was the one who fixed the problem. As one situation over, they start murmuring and complaining again. They forget who did it, fix the problem in the first place. And this is what he was encountering. And he said to them, do you and do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000? How many baskets full of fragments did you take up? They said to him, 12. Also, when I broke the seven for the 4,000, how many large baskets full of fragments did you take up? See, he has to be the king. The miracles he did, for they quickly forget what he done for them. How quickly, who said that? Wow, thank you. Thank you, Auntie Nettie. How quickly we forget what God has done for us. You're getting caught up with COVID. You and you did have COVID months ago. You, you get caught up in this thing now. And the, you, you and I got it long time. Survive it through it. And nobody knew it was it. Now you're getting caught up in this thing. Like you never had it. When, you, when your family sick, you're sick. And none of your family never get it. No, you talk about, oh God, Lord, I'm dead with COVID. Forget, listen, family, please do not lose your consciousness. Listen, I had COVID-19, no, and my doctor, the hemobilica, never knew what happened to me. He gave me all kind of medication, never work. I lost. Listen, you guys could ask Prophetess Rose. I was, I, the Lord says, go to Jamaica. As a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit said to me, um, nobody, uh, uh, nobody sees um, what's happening to you. I didn't even know what he was talking about. I didn't even know. He says, nobody noticed what's happening to you. My people, ta I was, I lost so much weight. That people, pe people say a devil, a demon lick me. Yes, people say, a de a the devil lick me. And I said, God, <laughs> forgive them, for they know not what they have said. They don't know. And when I, I, God said to me, go to Jamaica. I went home. As a matter of fact, Justin came home. And I said, Justin, I don't know. I said to Bernice first, Bernice, I don't know why God said to me, nobody noticed what's happening to you. And I left it like that. I said, I said it to Bernice. And then I said, my son came and I said, Justin, I don't know what God, God told me this. He says, nobody noticed what's happening to you. And I didn't even know what was happening to me myself. I just knew I was very tired. I couldn't walk. I was going to pay the mortgage. And I said, Bernice, you got to come with me. Because I was weak as my, it, it took my entire system. I lost over 40 pounds. I was looking like, wow, like I had cancer. How oh, I was so thin. I lost Every skin, my, the, my arm here, the skin just drop. When I took my clothes off and I said, I said to my nurse, I said, Auntie Nettie, look, look at me. I went to Jamaica. When I went to Jamaica, I only God keep me up in the air because God said I wanted to go to Jamaica. I preached five days, miracles, signs, and wonders, and the body was going. That wasn't, I couldn't, oh my God. The spirit was carrying my body. Oh, Lord Jesus. 
My spirit was carrying my body and miracles was going on because I had the three days revival. My God and oh my God, miracles, signs and wonders. And as me finish, me, me gone. It's like I had no more, no more strength, no strength. But while I'm ministering, the strength was there. I could hardly stand up. They had to hold me up. I didn't even know I had COVID-19. I didn't know. <laughs> Oh Lord, I cough. They they give me this. They give me that. They give me that. I took everything when I was when I left went to Jamaica. I walk when I stepped in the house. Rose said, "Jesus Christ, Auntie, what's wrong with you?" Eh mm eh. -mm. No man. I said no. I have strep throat. Strep what? I had strep throat, but but my because my system became so under attack. That it, I had the COVID, I had the strep throat, I was cough, coughing for about five months. So when I'm talking, when you're talking about you getting caught up, don't get caught up. You've been there, done that. You're a child of God. This thing is not for you. This thing is for those who God is trying to say, listen, either you turn or you're going to go. You don't understand. God, I was in church with COVID-19 and not one of the people get it sick. Not one. I was in Jamaica with it, full blown in Rose's face like, love you. Rubbing it on. In Steve's face. They have, every, cause every morning, noon and night, they have been, you have to hold me up and pray and pray and pray because I couldn't, I couldn't do, I, oh my God, there was no life in me. In my body, what my spirit was, 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 was good. You don't understand. And no one catch nothing. This is not for us who are born of the spirit. This is for those who play in church. It's for those who don't want to surrender their lives to Christ. God is showing the earth that he is great. He is the one that sustains human beings, not themselves. You don't understand. And so, oh my God, they can tell her. I remember the Lord said, tell your nurse, tell Nettie to buy um, Nutriment. She, she buy about a dozen Nutriment. I drink the Nutriment, it's still <laughs> nothing. Oh my God. They gave me everything in the book. They said, oh, you're losing weight so fast. It was just, it was just a group. God. No, I had, uh, I, I, I was, no, remember, I struggle with asthma because I'm waiting for God to heal me. You understand? Yet their doctor says I had, I have high blood pressure and I have uh, diabetes. <laughs> it didn't even matter. So now, now they're saying that all of these things that you, you, you now, now they're saying, oh, if you have that, then it's you, 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 you are prone to, I'm prone to nothing. Prone to nothing. None of this is for you and I who are committed to the Lord Jesus Christ. God, no, you are looking, oh, COVID, I know, Lord, I know this, and stop it. Relax. Don't lose focus. Stay focused. Are you with me? And he said to them, they said to him, 12, 12, uh, 12, they said to him, 12. Also, when I broke the seven for the 4,000, how many large baskets full of fragments did you take up? And they said, seven. And so he said to them, how is it you do not understand? Why are you not aware that God is? Why aren't you aware that God is your sustainer? Why? Why aren't you aware? Why are you so quick to forget who God is in your life and who he has been? Hmm? You know, I remember my sister keep calling me. <laughs> she would call me every day. And she was like, sis, you okay? I me say, yeah, she said, you know, show me know you suffer with the asthma thing, you know. And me say, yeah, man, 
You know, she said, she said, boy, I'm just a pray for you, so I'm just a pray for you. And I say, yeah, the time is weak as rot. But me still ask them, still in church, still preaching. One day God saw me, said to me, don't preach. Because if you preach today, you're going to drop down in the pulpit. I said, okay, God. I, I asked one of my leaders, I said, you got to preach. And I, they, he preached. He said, he said, if you ever go up there, you'll be disgraced because you'd have dropped down dead in the pulpit. Let me tell you something. When your total focus is on God, nothing, 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 nothing. No harm. No harm at all. You don't understand. No harm at all. God sent me to Jamaica. Lord Jesus, oh my God, m maybe Rose could have put up our Bernice, can put up the picture in the yellow dress and show them. Put it up and show them how I look, how I was. Let me tell you, man, God is great. And you don't sustain yourself, God sustain you. Okay, that may I try to tell you. God is your provider. He sustains you. Be aware. Awareness is the key to your consciousness. Your consciousness is the key to your willingness. Your willingness is the key to your obedience. And your obedience is the key to your submission. Awareness, family of God. Awareness is the key to your salvation. Do you see how the awareness coming into you? Awa sal awareness is the key to your salvation. Awareness is the key to your submission. The awareness is the key to your obedience. Awareness is the key, my God, to your willingness. Your willingness is the your obe your awareness is the key, my God, to your consciousness. Your consciousness is the key to your awareness. Be aware. Who is around you? What's going on? Don't get caught up in all of these things that's happening. Keep your awareness. I want to let you know, awareness is a state of, of consciousness. It is a state of knowledge. It is a state of knowing consciously who you are and who you belong to. Who is your source? Who is your God? awareness who is your healer oh my god who is your protector who is your mask he is <laughs> they said oh put on your mask put on your mask put on your mask me say look here covid afraid of me because this is spirit of death i saw covid 19 long 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 time and i told the people from january 31st i saw covid and i told him i said listen be covered under the blood this year Come into God this year fully and don't play with God this year. They can tell you. Listen, if you are play church, stop play this year and get conscious. And if you don't sleep with Dick, stop sleep with Dick and not sleep with Tamar, Harry, nor Jane, nor Janet. Be and cover yourself and keep yourself under the blood. It's not a joke. Do you understand me tonight? Awareness is a state of having a knowledge of consciousness. Matthew 24 and 30. Too many of us are in the church but not in the kingdom. When you are in the kingdom, you will obey and understand kingdom principles. Mm -hmm. If you are born again, are a born again believer, you should be conscious. You must be conscious. You must be aware that life and death is in the power of the tongue. Be conscious of that fact and stop saying every little thing. Lord, oh, Jesus, we have to go do this. Get conscious and get saved. That's all you need to do. I know that God is your savior, your deliverer, your keeper, your sustainer. Hey! He should have been dead and gone, but because he's kept you. You forget? He asked them, you know, have ears to hear and eyes to see that I am the miracle worker in your life? How much more? What more do you want to see? What more do you want to hear? What more should he, what, what is it? What more? If you are saved, be aware that the kingdom 
of heaven suffer violence. But the violent one must take it by force. Aren't you aware that there's always going to be warfare until we leave here? Every day you complain, lad, they say I have a lad that. Come on. Submit to God. Let God. Listen, the devil going to fight till Jesus comes. You choose what you fight. You don't get up on a fight, 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 fight. Now wear yourself out. No, he said, this battle is not yours. It is the Lord's. I'm, I got this one. So I'm aware what he said. He will say, deal with this one. He said, yes, Lord. Bam, bam. Glory to God. He will say, all right, I got this. This one is mine. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Do you understand me tonight? You have to understand, he's a miracle worker. My God, tonight, do you understand he was the one that was there all the time and he will be there. After you leave here, he's still going to be there. He is here when you got here and when you leave here, he's still going to be here. Helping those that are here. Are you so not, uh, uh, you must be conscious and be aware that you're the head and not the tail above only and not beneath. What are you, what are you complaining about? You can't go hungry? Never. Never. If you stay in prayer and stay conscious, never. You are to be aware and to be conscious the fact that sin will separate you from God. You must be conscious of that fact. If you continue to sin, you're going to be separated from God. Are you aware that God, that good overcome evil? Are you aware of that? Are you aware of that? Are you aware that every word that you hear from the mouth of a born again person is going to be held against you? According to Joshua chapter 1, every word, hold them accountable to the word. Do you know that every word you speak, you've got to be conscious as a born again believer because every word is going to use to judge you? Are you aware of that fact? That you must be careful to slow to speak and quick to listen? And not judge a matter before the time? Are you understand? Are you aware of that fact? Rahab was aware of Israel's deliverance. And so what she did, she helped the spies and was saved when Jericho wall came down. Are you aware of the fact that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Are you aware of it? Are you aware that whatever good you do, it will come follow, it will follow after you? Are you aware of it? Are you aware of that tonight? I want you to be conscious. You are not ordinary. Your voice belongs to God and it, be, and, and it must bring deliverance to others. The woman with the issue of blood was aware that the doctors couldn't heal or help her. Her condition was far gone. It's only Jesus could. Some, can, some things you're going through, only Jesus. So might as well you put your trust and confidence in God. That's it. You got to understand that. We need to understand that certain situation, God would allow us to go through it for us to know God more, build our faith, strengthen our, our, our stakes in him, understand that he is the author and the finisher, understand that it won't, it won't go away until, it, until it's time, God, there's an allotted time for everything. He's building you up. He, he wants you to know this. And so you go through much, you go to heaven's gate through much suffering. You don't want to go to nothing, but you want to go to heaven. How is that? Family of God, come on, man. And understand, God wants you to be aware and let the Holy Spirit govern your life. Can I say that one more time? God wants you to be conscious. And be aware that you need to allow the Holy Spirit to govern your living that you can have life in it, eternal in him. 
Well, oh, if I don't do, do it, if I don't do it, ain't nobody going to do it. You're right. Because you're not depending on somebody who wants to do it for you. God wants to do all things for you. But you got to let him have control over your life. Be conscious that you can be here and gone tomorrow. You never know that? Mm -hmm. In From before you're born until you're born now and you're living, I don't care how old you are, you'll be here today and to, to, tomorrow morning, you out of here. Oh my God, he died? Yeah. Oh my God, how? What happened? Hello, you don't understand? Tomorrow you may not see me. So be glad today and enjoy my company today. You don't understand? Why? Why you think you're so caught up that, oh, next year, next two years, 10 years, Lady Diana didn't make it. She was, she was here and then she's gone, don't it? Mm-hmm. What's his name? Um, all these pastors left. They were here one day and the next day they're out. What makes you think that you're different? It ain't no different. It's appointed unto man to leave this place. Once you're born, you must die. Were you prepared? Oh God, everything. And oh, you're so surprised. Oh my, what? What are you surprised about? You must be aware that death is inevitable. That's why you must live each day consciously as the last day. What if I did, I, I gone tomorrow? I, I, I love my kids and they know it. I love the church and they know it. I love people and they know it. I forgive everybody. They know it. I don't cover up nothing. I tell on myself. I confess my faults one towards another. I don't care what I tell. Hey, do you know that I, I, I was very hurting about what this lady said? I tell, I tell all myself. I don't got no secret. I'll tell you. Anything you ask me, I'll tell you. And I'm not afraid to tell you. Let that go. That ain't yours. Are you with me tonight? I'm not afraid because you don't have a hell to put me in a heaven. So I have to, I'm a, I, I fear him who can kill body and soul and send me to hell. That's who I'm afraid of. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, tonight I want you to be aware that, 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 that God, the who, and let the Holy Spirit govern your lives. You don't have no life without him anyway. Be conscious that you can be here today and gone the next. What you think you have? Oh, next year. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. I'm going to die. Oh, stop it. Because if you are going dead, you're not even going to bloom. You're gone. Praise the Lord. Sleep is dead. I go to bed and I may not get back here. Why? Because the Lord chose to take me home. Why? Why are you conscious of, oh, my God. And what you eat, what you drink. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're tense up. I used to be like that, oh, but since I get to know Jesus Christ and Lord, my Lord and Savior, personally rooted and grounded, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Ready or not, here I come. You think that when death come for you, you're going to say, oh, listen, I said to somebody, the man, the accident that took place, Oh, well, I gotta go. The accident that took place um, this week, the man was having a heart attack, and he became. And then the, the the sister was in the back of the ambulance with him. The the fire truck coming. No, normally, two emergency vehicle would never collide because they're always looking out. You know. Some things is fate. You can't get it, get rid of it. I believe that was that the man's time. We're trying to, oh God, and brother, live spiritually and you will understand everything that's happening. The spirit of God will reveal to you what's that? Why did this happen? How? Because you will, you will know. 
But because you're not live spiritually, you, you get caught up in the world like everybody else in the world. And you're supposed to be living a spiritual life. Then the Lord said, how you not perceive? You don't know? You don't know, so the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees are here. And they don't believe. You, you, don't, you don't know. What, why is it that you don't know? Why is it that you don't know? The world is going to be just like that. What is it that you want to know that you... It's not, they don't take no rocket scientists. Live for the Lord. Live by the word of God. Live in submission. Live in holiness. Live in truth. Live, tr live open to God. Live, live. Be conscious not to sell out your salvation because you want, because a belly full. Don't do that. Because of what you can, you, you're going you go, you to benefit you today. What about your eternal salvation? What about, what about your eternal salvation? You act like everything is a, a surprise. Right? Oh, you're not surprised. What are you surprised about? This, in this life, you will have trial. Oh, but, but, uh, what, what, uh, 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 for what? For what? Live consciously. These things must happen. People are going to get sick. People are going to die. Demon are going to trouble you. The devil are going to fight against you. You sometimes are going to go through. Look here. It surprises your people behave. People are going to lie on you. People. You'll be like, right now I'm like, yeah, what's next? Okay. What's next? Be conscious, yeah? Be conscious. You call like, you know, you act like you don't know God. You act like you don't know. You act like, act like you're not a born again. You're like, you don't know the word. The word of God, you don't know it. You don't know. You got to know the word. So that you can, when you pray, you talk to God. Me, me stop use the word lightly prayer because people use the the word prayer lightly oh pray everybody pray they're not praying prayer is the community prayer is contacting god and understanding god and 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 getting the download and having a consciousness of what is going on he said i'm not gonna hide anything from you if you talk to me Ain't nothing still. But what did, what did Peter say? Peter said you're acting as though you're thinking it's strange as though some things that that uh, you don't know that you're acting like a strange thing. These things happen every day. The Bible says. The Bible says, be conscious, not to sell your be your salvation for a belly full. What is that? Do not fall to temptation because it, don't go to work when you know you're supposed to be in church. Don't go take it because, oh, me need that overtime there now. No, God is your provider. You don't understand. Don't take work on a week and a Sunday when you know you're supposed to be in church. Serving God. Give God that one day. Be aware that hell is real and heaven is also real. Be aware that you are a, as a vapor. You are as, as a fading flower. You bloom in the morning and this evening you withered and gone. Call me cold. I'm not. I'm just conscious. That this thing is real. Anything him say, so it go. He said, aren't you not aware? You don't have eyes to see, ears to hear. Why? What is it so strange to you? Oh, we don't have any bread. Oh, the one loaf you have, you don't understand? I can multiply it again? What's wrong? Be aware that it is approaching it is appointed unto man wants to die. After that comes the judgment. I'm here. Five more minutes. I'm going to pray. Okay? Five more minutes. Five more minutes.
Be aware that you are, you do not live for here only, but you live for there. Be conscious and don't live only for here. Be because you have there to go. You have a home beyond the sky. Beulah land. I'm longing for you. And someday. On the. I can't stand it. When people act like they say. say they say they're full of God. But. 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 What any little thing happen. Oh God. Jesus says. Really? What are you, what are you, what are you acting up like? I'm still God. Hello? Don't live for here. This is temporary. This life is temporary. There's a home beyond the sky. Heaven is real, yes? Hell is real. Be aware that Satan is real and God is real. Be aware. And if we live for God, we have the victory. And if you live for the devil, you're going to still keep having problem, 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 problem. At least when you live for God and the, city and, the, and the problems arise, you have a God who can help you solve them. But when you have a problem, this is what we can't understand with people in our family. Listen, no, no. <laughs> they don't serve God, right? They don't want to serve him. But when they have a problem, who them got to? Him. Really? So why don't you leave the one who can't solve your problem and come to the one who can help you solve your problem? Because he said, he warns us, he said, in this world you're going to have sorrow. You're going to have heartache. But understand, I'm there with you. Because there you have an enemy in the earth. So why not live with him? <laughs> who's, who's, who can help us? And that's why I tell people, if you don't want God, don't come to me. If you want God, come. I will help you solve the problem. And I will, and, 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 and we will work with you all the way. That's it. You can't want God. Nobody came to Jesus and walk away. He said, without, he's saying, Go your way, sin no more. Go your way, sin no more. It, from Genesis to Revelation, go your way, don't sin again. People want to come to him and go and sin. It, that's, that's, that's not the book. Me not leave you. Let you go and then you go do what you need. He might say, go your way and sin no more. That's what Jesus did. He preached repentance. John preached repentance. I'm preaching repentance. Beware, Satan is the sly old fox. Samson, oh my God, his awareness <laughs> came when Delilah tricked him. Delilah, oh my God, he put his head in Delilah's lap. The woman tricked him and said, Tell me the secret to your salvation. Why are you so, oh, you're so strong in the Lord. Yeah, ma, you don't say it to me here. She said, oops, Philistine. And everybody, you must tell the secret to your prayer life. Oh, you do this song, you do that. And everybody. Be aware and build the kingdom. Do not worry about Sanballat and Tobias. Build the kingdom of God, man. Give to God. Because he who keep Israel don't slumber nor sleep. If he's keeping you, he don't sleep. He don't wear pajama. Be alert that no weapon is, that is forming against you. Prosper. It ain't going to prosper. Be faithful to God. He is faithful to you. Do you not know the Holy Spirit is in you? It's present. Mm. Tonight, 
be aware that spiritual things is spiritual things and carnal things is carnal things. Don't mix up both of them. Hmm? Do you know that when David slept with Bathsheba and she got pregnant and the child he was on the, his face fasting and praying, Lord, save the child. And he's at the door like, yes, Lord. Oh, I'm waiting. Oh, Lord, let them come out. Come tell me that the child is living. The Lord said, get up, the child. I'm going to kill the child anyway. He lay there and he was all praying to God and looking out of one eye. The Lord says, the servant came out and said, Master, child is dead, you know. He said, well, I can get up and go eat now because I was hoping that he would make him live. But since he didn't make him live, all right, prepare me some food now, please. I'm ready to eat. I'm good. I'm aware that he, he, gonna eat. he, takes, it, he takes it away from me. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Let's go. I'm aware that this is it. Some people awareness dead. To the things of the world. Oh, if God and they, they, they complain about the same thing over and over and over and over. And every time they call you, Lord the devil, Lord the devil, Lord the devil, Lord the devil, Lord this, Lord that, Lord. Lord God. People of God. People of God. People of God. People of God. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God and let him direct your path. Please, please, for God, for your sake, can you just let go and let God, Jesus. Lord God, the Bible says if you worry, you're like, a, you're like, a, um, the Bible says that, um, uh, the, Worrying as a sin, as, as witchcraft. You don't see that? Be aware. Say, if you I worry, 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 you know different than a, work, than a witch. Duh. Yeah. Be aware. Be conscious. The man, Jesus said, my God, really? You're murmuring about yourself, oh, Lord, we don't have no bread. What will happen? Jesus said, my God, What's wrong? Hmm? You don't know. You don't know. You don't. You still don't know. Don't. Are you still not aware? Will you make sin creeping in your heart for your chat me? Hmm? Tonight, family, please. I love you, but I want you to be aware. Nothing must take you by surprise. Because you are a child of God. You are equipped with the mind of Christ. You have the spirit of God. You have the word of truth. You have, you have everything pertaining to life and godliness. So why are you so complaining? You're so... You're so... At least the thing happen. <laughs> Why? Get in God. Get with God. And if, because you see, the problem is you don't know him. If you knew him, then you wouldn't be like that. And that's the problem. You are lacking understanding. That's what he said to them. You will not be anxious for nothing. You will pray at all time for, about everything. Because you will know, you know, God... Maybe you didn't want this happen. This is not for me, so. Because if it was for me, then you would have given it to me, so. You know, my mother died, and I wasn't able to go to Jamaica. And well, my husband went for me at the time. You know me never cry. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because before mom, mom passed, I was having lunch once one day, and the Lord, as my God saw, he said, your mother. So I called my big sister, and I said, you know, something happened to mama. She said, Lord, why am why mama? I said, I don't know. I just know something wrong with mama. And let me tell you, 
I said, if somebody don't go, we're not going to see mama. My sister called. <laughs> when my sister called Jamaica, my brother-in-law had her at, the, at the, his house. And you could stay maybe like, okay. You know, when you're from the elevator to the, to, to the you know how you hospital if you walk far. You could stay there and, and hear mama screaming. When she was on the phone, she heard mama screaming. She said, um, what happened to mama? Doctor said she has pneumonia. Okay. I said, eh, I think so. I know that gotta tell me. God said, mama, sick. You see, when mama, my sister went on and bring up mama, mama foot never touched this earth and America earth. She goes straight to come into the house and she slept. They took her to straight to um, um, the hospital in, in, in Cross Kings County. Took her to Kings County. Let me tell you. <laughs> Everything we happened to mama, God show me. And I know God has shown me things. Everything, ask my sister. Everything God show me. And I said, you know, this happened and that. And mama in the hospital. And when mama, mama had lung cancer. And if I don't know me now, she have, she have lung cancer. And God, we go out, we get the hospital. Every day, the three of us at the hospital, me, she and Minerva, every day. I leave the Bronx. Mother, she and mother was in Brooklyn at the time. We all meet up at the hospital over there every day. Okay, and let me tell you, when my mother was going to pass, and before my mother passed, my mother had a vision. How I was praying for her to, to be healed. The Lord said, and when my, if I went now, if I know, that call me, hey. Cancer would have to come out of that. Like, him, him frightened. And, but I didn't have the awareness. I didn't understand yet the, what I had. And when mama, mama had a vision, and mama said she was, she went to the, she was in this line, and she went to the gate. And this man was at the gate. And the man gave her a number. Some was going in, some getting number. Some going in, some getting number. So they have to take the number and they have to come back out. She came out of the vision and she tell us the number she got. I said, oh, the Lord showed, the Lord said that's the amount of days she's going to live. So, of course, we took her up to Jamaica and, you know, she's there enjoy her time until she, she went home. And the night when my mother passed, the night when mama leave this earth. <laughs> the night when mom close her eye to this life and God into the next. The Lord, I lay on my bed and the Lord showed me, said, now your mom's gone. I got to call immediately. Oh my God. In a minute, the phone ring. They said, mom left. I said, I know. How you know? Because the Lord just showed me. What am I saying to you tonight? God will not withhold anything from you who diligently seek him. You want to know the heart of God? Connect. Connect. You want to know things about what everybody that people think and what their, their, their next move is and what's going on with them and what's going to happen? Connect. When you connect, he reveals it to you and said, you see, yeah. And you act like you don't know nothing at all. And you just, because you never say if you tell them, you know. i am only show you. And some people live in some life and they think like, they act like you don't know. Because them think, say, you just look and you, and him say, okay, yes, you see that? Okay, it's because they're not living according to my word. They're not living according to my Oh, okay, that's one. Oh, just keep it moving. I say, oh, that's one. I say, oh, that's another one. Oh, okay. That's how I know you. Sorry. 
That's how I know. God download, reveal to me the secret of a man, the heart of a person. Because I live in the face of God. I have nothing else to do, but me, me not know. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. He's a fanatic. I love him. I can't help myself. <laughs> you know. Oh, God. Family. <laughs> Lord Jesus. I love God so till. <laughs> It's all about him. It's all about him. My heart, my, I hunger. I long for God, I hunger. I can't get enough of him. And that's how you must, you must, that's how you must be. Your heart, you must be like the deer. Your heart panted after him, oh my God. So your soul panted after God. And he must shatarabushi. Hey shatarabushi katai. Hey narabushi Things overtake you. Things come upon you, and it. You know you feel like. You think when I'm sick, nobody know? I don't talk. I talk to Daddy Lord. Oh, God. Mm. Whom do I have on earth beside him? Or whom do I have in heaven but him? He's first and foremost. Ever existing. The breath I breathe. The song I sing. My picker-upper who wakes me in the morning. That's who you must become. Like minded with Christ. So tonight, family, Jesus knows all about your struggles, but He will guide you till the day is done. There is not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. For Jesus, he knows all about your struggles. He will guide you till the day is done. Oh, there is not a like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. I'm saying no, not one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For Jesus knows all about our struggles and he will guide till the day is done there is not a friend like jesus no 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 never no not one no one can stick closer to you like him mm. lord nobody can do like jesus he is there all the time. He's been there all the time. Waiting patiently in line. God was there all the time. Christ was there all the time. The time, if you find your heart, your mind is so longing for somebody. Christ is there all of the time. Waiting, pay, 
Gently in line, God's dear. All the time Christ was there. All the time. Only God can carry you through. Christ was there, a broken heartedness on him all the time. Waiting pay gently in line. Oh, God is there, He's always there. All mm, the time, no one knows and understands. But you and I know that if it had not been for God, oh my God, mother, father, husband, everybody abandon you and leave you. But God is there. You do so many things for people and they hurt you. But only God is always there. I'm telling you, only God, God, God knows. God knows. God knows. That's why you must draw close to God. Hug him. Keep him. Oh God. Oh yeah, my God. God, keep him, keep him, don't let him go, cover, guard him, guard your salvation, family, God is with him, God, anything that you desire tonight, Jesus, God will do it for you tonight, it doesn't matter, Seek him, love on him, serve him, and watch him make ways out of no way. Watch him heal you. Watch him comfort you. Watch him, my God, do a jailbreak for you. Watch him open doors for you. But you got to seek God. A word of prophecy that you're trying to get is not going to work. See God and watch he completes your life. He blesses your children. Bless your family. You know, I was telling somebody the other day. And I was telling them and people... My very own friends, familiar friends, was saying, don't keep no company with violent kids them. And I, the kids come back and tell their kids, the, the, my kids. And I said, it's okay. No worries. I didn't even tell the parents that the kids come back and tell the, my, my kids. And you know, I talked to them. I don't even know. I still, I, I never act any way different. Because the God I serve is not contrary. I don't carry things in my heart. It don't bother me. I just tell the kids it's okay. If they don't want, the parents don't want, it's okay. Don't, don't make that bother you. It's all right. And they would still, the kids would still talk to each other quietly, you know. And I, want, I was saying to somebody this week, I said, you know, my, all of my kids are the ones that came out on top. And the ones that were saying, don't keep no company with violent kids, them. It's their kids, jail, drugs, drop out of school, everything happened to them. My kids, them finish school. My kids have good jobs. They bless beyond compare. They don't know. I always tell them, I said, it's the blessings of God. My kids don't lack nothing, want nothing. None of them not come to me for nothing. Not even the one at college. Hardly. I, I, I know. I, I have to pay school fee and I give him, I give him everything he wants. Everything. 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 
I want you. I don't have a car right now. I have, I have, a, I have a Lexus. I gave it to him. I said, God, be blessed. You don't understand. God is there all the time. Just stay close, focus. You can't outgive God. You can't do like what, nobody can do better like what God will do for you. I was saying to the Lord this evening, I said, God, if who you want for me, that's what I want. I don't want, I could want the, the pilot. I could want the, the marine. I, um, I could want this. It's not what I want. It's what you want. It's first time it would have what I wanted. Now my life is hidden in him. It's what he wants for me. It is who, what am I saying? He said to tell you it is who he wants for you that you must be contented with. Not what you want. Because you don't know what's best for you. You don't know. And so God wants to bless you and your family. Tonight, today, this minute, this hour, God's gonna, God said to tell you, if you only trust him, if you only accept him, if you only surrender to all to him, then your life become his life. So what he wants for him, he wants it for you. He gives you the desires of your heart because it's the desires of his heart. You will not lack or want any good thing. Submit. Let God let the pain in your body relax. It's because you're so frustrated and worried and you're tense. Relax. Lord, I trust you. I give you my will. This, you, you can't keep yourself. Only God can keep you. Tonight, family, everything your heart desire, everything you need pertaining for life and godliness, God will do it. What's the sense? What is it that you you gonna you gonna kill up yourself? And you, you can't make it happen. Leave it alone. Everything will come to pass in due season. You want it today. What God said not today, at tomorrow. What are you going to do? You have to wait for tomorrow. Because he's going to allow you to live to see tomorrow for you to get it. Somebody was telling me this week that the guy, um, he had a lawsuit and for years he was waiting for the lawsuit and the lawsuit just came he just got all the money and he i think he has a child or that one child and the daughter it was a daughter and the daughter he put the, the daughter's name on it the man dead the next day he never enjoyed a penny a penny the child got everything millions Millions he got. He died without spending a dollar. What will it profit you to gain the world and lose your soul? Nothing. God wants you to be conscious of your every day walk. Every day when you wake up, be conscious. Be aware. Lord, if it's not you, then Lord, it's nothing. You know, when I was coming from Jamaica, not this year, because this year he said, every year I'm coming back, he gave me a word. This year he says, um, um, 
oh my god i don't remember what you said this year but he was like oh my god i don't remember but i was coming up one year and he says what is to be will be so oh okay what am i saying it means whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen whether you like it or not so tonight what is to be will be You can't do nothing about it. You just have to secure your heart and your life in Christ. And what is going to, what is to be, will be. He got you. If you are his, he got you. You don't have to think about, you've got your family, you got your children, he got them. Just give them to God. It is well. Yeah. So tonight... <laughs> Tonight, healing is yours. Provision is yours. Receive it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Receive full and free salvation. Receive the joy of knowing who God is. Receive Everything that belongs to you that pertaining to life and godliness. Re receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your covering. Receive your job. Receive your jail. You, you, you're coming out of jail. Receive. You may have family in jail. They'll be coming out. God is going to do it. God is going to do it. If he said it and he promised it, it will come to pass. Don't You don't need to worry. Think about, oh, how it's going to happen. You don't need to get there, so. You just need to thank you, Lord. If God said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bless you with this. You don't need to, Lord, when is it coming? Oh, God. I'm gonna, you don't need to say, Lord, I thank you. And you serve God with joy and it appear. You don't need to, oh, God, say, I'm going to heal you. Oh, God, when? When, Lord? I still feel the pain. Oh, God, when is God? No. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you glory. And the pain rock in your body. And you say, God, I glorify you. God, I honor you. You are my God. One of these days you get up, there's no pain. That's how it works. But you want a quick fix. God choose to heal you instantly, slowly, or gradually, or a miracle. It's up to him. We ask. He said, yep, I'm going to do it. Some get it right away. Some get it tomorrow. Some get it the day after that. Some get it next week. Some get anything God said he's going to give you. You're going to get it. Patient, patiently waiting on you. Patience. Be patient. And if him come on him say, you know what? You're going to deal with this thing for three months. Yes, Lord, thank you. Three months, hallelujah. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, day one, month one, Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I don't know when, but I know, God, you're going to do it for me. Thank you, God. Day two months, oh, God. Lord, I give you glory. Father, I magnify you. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, God. Your grace is enough, sufficient for me to keep me. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Boop. Wait, you may forget. You forget that you ever ask. It just happened. People of God, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Don't look at these people with a pond line. All six, seven, eight hundred people are. Yes, prophet, prophet, me and my family, prophet, prophet. The prophet never say, if God wants to talk to you, he will talk to you. He will let the man and if the other woman and they will say, James, yes, James, you think are you putting things up there? Make I, I go make it happen? No. You sit right down. You sit right down. 
And my God, he said, and you said, me? me? And he said, yep, you. And so, because you're not anxious, you trust in God with all of your heart, and you leave it. And you bless God at all times. Because God knows the minute and the hour. God knows what's going to happen tomorrow. He, gone, he knows everything. So just let go. All right, I'm done. And let God. Amen? It is yours. It's yours, baby. It's yours, son. It's yours, daughter. It's yours. It's yours. It's not, oh, oh yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> Lord, just thank God. He will do it for you. Amen. Sharon, God bless you. God bless you tonight. You have a testimony for me? Miss, Miss, Miss Sharon Seville, Seval, Sevilla. Amen. Don't be anxious. Relax. God's God. I promise you, God. I promise you, God bless you. God going to give it to you. Promise. Just, just know. He cares for you. God bless you, daughter. Amen. How is everything, Sharon? How is everything? I'm closing. I don't care what you need. It's all done. I don't care what's going on. It's all done. Watch God. Amen. The Lord's got you. The Lord got you. I thank God for all of you. May you have a wonderful weekend. Everything is much calmer. Thank God. I have been praying for you and your family. Right? Right? And I know without a doubt. God bless you. You're watching from Germany, AM. It's AM here too. It's one, it's one uh, thirty-five here. God bless you. God bless you. So, daughter of God, I'm praying for you. It's done. You you have the victory. Believe me, because the spirit that was there causing all of that, it's gone. Because one of my daughters, <laughs> enjoy, hallelujah, because the spirit that was there, no, no, no. It's right where we, no, don't say that. It's done. Give him praise. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to go to God and do nothing but to give him glory. Be happy. <laughs> Amen. Be confident. Because one of my daughters here online, I don't know if she's online right now, but, um, um, <clears throat> Evangelist Shauna, she saw, she said, Mom, when you were praying and you was blowing away, you blowing away, you was blowing away, she saw there was this, there was a man in the bedroom and the man, the spirit got up and said, it's his teeth like, you know, um, he was disturbed and he just walked out the house. So tonight, without a doubt, I know it's done. Be happy. Be joyful. Okay? Because God, 
Sarge is in charge. Are you with me? It's done. Don't go back to God with it. Just enjoy God and thank him for it's done. What he says he's do, he's already done it. That's why you saw, you saw, uh, Elijah saw, the, the man came back and said he saw the, 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 the cloud that's the size of a fist, right? Small. Once you see the size of a fist, you know it's coming out, it's coming out, it's, it's coming out. It's coming out, you saw the size of a fist. Elijah saw that and he says, Ooh, it's okay, it's going to rain because you have to see the sign, then you see everything. What am I saying? It is done. We give him praise and glory. God bless you, man of God. You came on and we're leaving. I, God bless you. Thank you for coming on. But we have been on since 1130. And so we thank you for stopping by tonight. And may God bless you tremendously. Enjoy your weekend. And know God is with you. And it is well. All right? Love you. See you on Monday. Pray for us because God, we have a long week this week coming up starting on Sunday, and we need your support and your prayers as well. So you'll be, you'll be watching online, okay, because we will be in service, all right? So you're going to still, you're going to come on Faith in Action and watch the service online with us, okay? I love you all. God bless you, sir. God bless you as well. God bless you. God bless all the pastors here on tonight. God bless you tremendously. God is pouring out his spirit and God, you will, oh my God, you will see the hand of God moving like never before. All right. So be blessed. And I thank you for watching and know that in the, the, your future in God is secure. And so you cannot, you will not, and you, you will not, you cannot, and you will not. No, let me say it. Your future in God is secure. Therefore, you will not and you cannot and you shall not fail. Amen. Go. So we go on in peace and let the peace of God be with you. Love you all. Blessings.